Hi, how's everybody doing today? I just thought I would do an update to the theater progress since there has been a decent amount done. Um, we have, as you can probably see, um, we have insulated the ceiling and drywalled. Um, Chris and Chuck came over and put the drywall up. They are pros at this. Uh, Chuck is an excellent taper and mutter, so he got this thing looking real nice. Um, I, uh, I did some painting, so don't mind the roller marks. Uh, it's actually a lot darker in person. The camera's adjusting for the black here, so, um, uh, it's rendering it kind of gray, because cameras think everything is middle tone. But, uh, it's really dark in person, and I have these can lights all the way up. Um, when I'm watching a movie, they'll be way down, so you won't even be able to see, see the ceiling at all, except for the lights. Now this is uh, Bayer Marquee paint. This is uh, limousine leather. This is their blackest black, they tell me. Uh, I would do Vanta black or something like that, but I don't know. The, the stuff's like three, 300 bucks a gallon, and um, I just don't see the need to go that dark because I might actually do a wallpaper mural starfield ceiling. Um, I was going to do star ceiling, um, well I thought about it, but this is a a pretty low ceiling anyway, this is like 6 foot 11 here, um, or 6 six ten with the drywall on the carpet let's say, so I didn't want to do a drop ceiling and drop it down any lower than that, so here it is, so these, these holes are for the can lights, uh, can lights I tried to put in this morning but they are just a tiny bit too small those holes so I gotta shave those holes down to get them in there uh, and of course the speaker locations for the Atmos channels those are all pre-construction brackets with the wire hanging there I can put those in uh, but uh, anyway this is what it's looking like oh we ran uh, an HDMI as well as power to the back wall here and then in here there's also uh, two cat six cables uh, for future potential projector uh, now this is going to be uh, plywood here and then drywalled underneath the plywood and there's going to be an overhang like four inches probably hanging over so we can hide some LED light uh, in the channel there so kind of indirect lighting trying to figure that out now that's actually one of the more difficult parts of doing this is figuring out what hardware to get uh, I ordered some lights off Amazon um, and some adapters here these little guys this is a Wayno thing they got like 4.7 stars and it's a hundred foot kit and I got these adapters and stuff and um, but they're not very bright and the LEDs are spaced out pretty far so you'll see like a dotted line if you have any directly pointing at you not an indirect light source so I've got this aluminum stuff this is like a channel that has a plastic lens over it and I thought it would diffuse the LEDs yeah, you can kind of see in there it's just this little channel that cap comes off uh, I wanted to do this all the way around the base of the room so it's a continuous bar of light all the way around, just you know, a bit above the like the baseboard area. And then I wanted to do a bar inside the soffit all the way around to match. I got a couple problems though. The paint is so black, it's gonna be just a sponge for the light up in the ceiling. So I think the light inside the soffit is gonna be pretty dark by comparison. Because you shine light on black and it doesn't light up, you know. Uh, the other issue is that, like I said, if we have this mounted on the wall pointing out, you're going to see like the dotted line, you're going to see the LEDs. So I'm trying to figure some way to do indirect light with LEDs down low, all the way around the room, and then uh, also up top. I just kind of want the two rings to highlight the whole room. So if you have any ideas on that, let me know. Um, I looked up American lighting stuff and uh, that much just for the LED tape you're talking like 1500 bucks 
Uh, this kit here that I got was 100 feet. That's $27.99, literally. So I might wire for the other stuff and then just put this in. Uh, I'm not sure at the moment. Uh, anyway, it's a carpet, carpet sample of what might go in there. Uh, price being the big factor, I just tried to find something with a heavy face weight. So a lot of fibers, so it'll soak up some sound well for the price. You know, so this is like the heaviest thing you can get for under three bucks a square foot. Um, so that's the theater portion. Uh, now I'm also working on the structured wire enclosure. So uh, I painted this wall. This was yellow and then there was a chalkboard up here before so there was an area that wasn't painted. Um, but now it's gray. This is another Bayer paint. Uh, which I like. It's kind of shadowy over here, but of course the unfinished side of the basement um, Where all the wires from all the various rooms are going to come terminate in here uh, as the 42 inch uh, Legrand enclosure the on cue Enclosure it's plastic so it won't shield the Wi-Fi so the wireless router is going to go in here the um, I got some hue lights, so the hue light hub is going to go in here. Uh, a an eight port switch, so it can distribute to the various TVs and rooms, devices. Yeah, which is right here, little TP link. Uh, Eighteen dollar switch, nothing too crazy. Uh, and then the modem is going to go down here as well. And I got to get a power strip. So we installed the outlet. Um, my carpenter buddy. Uh, Put a yellow faceplate on there just because uh, he knew it would drive me crazy because my OCD it's like white white and then he puts the old outlet cover on there <laughs> he got a kick out of it um, so I gotta figure out how these things mount they got these these panels that you can velcro to but I feel like there's got to be a better way like screwing right into these things these twist lock kind of things so I'll try to do a video just on the just on this because this is going to be a, a project. The thing with this is you got to start it and finish it all at once. You can't uh, you can't stop because then you don't have internet and none of your stuff in your house works. So you got to do you got to do it all one one sitting so to speak. Um, yeah, so that outlet got tied in all the way over there against the wall, and um, I figured out which breaker it goes on because because I labeled my whole structured wiring thing so that's that's my shop room anywho uh, this has been my little remodel area for a long time in addition to my laundry area uh, but that is the story for now uh, we're gonna tear out this wall and build a wall here so we can get Romex and wiring and everything we need to Oh, we also ran a an HDMI cable. So we've got HDMI going from here to the TV. We've got HDMI going up over the wall all the way to the back for a potential projector location. And we also ran HDMI out there so that when when I'm having people over and we're watching a movie and there's people at the bar, they can watch the same movie at the same time. So the movie can be on in here, four people can be sitting in the theater, and then people can be talking out here watching the same movie. So that's kind of a neat little uh, feature, I thought. Okay, well, we're going to go back to work on this uh, two days from now, so we'll see what we get done. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.